Hello everybody, I'm Overcord95 and welcome back to Cornucopia Collectibles. So today is going to be a mega episode, so be ready for a long haul. No matter what I do, this is going to take forever, <laughs> no matter how well I edit it. But because what we have here is a massive box from Pop Culture. In here is one box of their anime mystery box, which will have six pops. There's a box of the historical convention exclusive box of six mystery pops. And then there is the warehouse to public 36 pops box in here. In total, we are looking at around a, with shipping included, cost of $419.29. Now most of that's because of the ship, uh, in all honesty, over 100 of that is from shipping costs from Australia to the US because this is an Australian company. Um, but we're going to open this up, we're going to just go through this as best we can and as quickly as we can. I'm not going to do a whole lot of, unless if it's something really crazy cool, because I have a lot to get through. I'm going to do my best. There's a lot of tape on this box. Um, I might have to edit this part too, because there's a ton of tape on this end. It's going to take me a minute to just get into the box so I'll see you once I have it open alrighty so I got the box open there are just a stack of the Funko shipping boxes in here there are no labelings or anything so I don't know which one's the anime I don't know which one's the historic I don't know what's what here <laughs> we're just gonna go <laughs> there should be six pops per box in here I think I don't know if they did protectors with these or not I just I don't know I've seen a few other people open but there's no protectors this is not the all anime box because there's a variety in here it could be the exclusives but I don't I just don't know so I'm gonna try and get one out without damaging it yeah I might have to do a tilt got one so I'm just gonna grab and go we've got Boris Ban Badenov from Rocky and Bullwinkle. This is from 2018, so it's a four-year-old pop. That's pretty cool. Uh, and honestly, condition pretty good. So I'll check it out and be right back. Alrighty, not a bad little starter here. Uh, it's about $11. On average for all of these with the split, it's about $8.74 in change per cost for pop. That's including shipping and everything. So as long as we're making more than 9 bucks, not a bad little deal. All right, next one up. We've got a, ooh, Michael Jordan. That's actually pretty cool. It is the overseas, which I'm expecting almost all of their stickers to be overseas because it is from Australia. So not surprised there. This is a 2021-er. But this is the Hardwood Classics Michael Jordan in the away bulls, I believe. Because it's the white jersey and not the red. Uh, and it is NBA official. So we'll check it out and we'll be right back. Okay, this is a pretty good one. So I believe this was originally a bait exclusive. There is no differentiating on the stickers right now on Hobby DB and Pop Price Guide. So it's coming out at 50 bucks. I, I can't 100% certify that. Because it's not on that specific sticker specifically. When I go to edit all this, if there is a change, obviously I'll bring it up somewhere and let you know. But that's a $50 pull. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Next up, we've got Vers from Captain Marvel. This one's going to be sad. <laughs> now, unfortunately, the Captain Marvels ones just didn't carry over much. There's a little bit of... These are in pretty good shape overall, but since they were six packed together into the one box, they're not all. This one's not perfect. There's a little bit of creasing on the bottom, but not a big deal. 2018 Captain Cap, uh, Captain Marvel figure figures. We'll check it out and be right back. All righty, <laughs> we go from 50 back down to 10. Sorry about that. Yeah, but we go back. It's a it's a little 10 dollar from 2018. Nothing crazy, but <laughs> I'm surprised we had a really cool pull. We'll keep moving on and we'll be right back. I said be right back. And we're moving on to the next one is what I meant. I'm going to have to use this. Deadpool in cake. Happy 30 years, 2021. He has his cake. And he's eating it too. Uh, bobblehead Deadpool. This one looks in very good shape. We'll check it out and be right back. Okay. 
again, as long as we're making more than, as long as they're valued at more than nine bucks, it's worth it. We're looking at 11 bucks on this one right now. All right, next one up. We got a Bumblebee Transformer Retro Toy. Pretty cool. I do, I do like the Transformer ones because they look pretty good. They go they went with the older style toys and uh, animation style, so they look they look nice. Honestly, uh, from 2020, I'll be right back. All right, another little eleven dollar. Not bad. Moving on. Last one of the box. Did I save the best for last? I don't think so. That Michael Jordan was a surprise. But we got Macho Man Randy Savage again overseas, which I expected, and it is the diamond piece. That's cool. You know, considering you're paying basically eight bucks a pop, eight, nine bucks a pop, and actually it's, it's less if we hadn't gotten the other two boxes in it. But you're getting some pretty cool stuff, honestly. Let's take a look, and we'll be right back. Alrighty, a pretty good one to finish the the first of many boxes with. We're looking with the overseas sticker right now, the special edition. It is looking at twenty nine dollars for the value. Pretty good overall. That's a good first box. We're looking at one hundred and twenty two bucks right there from six pops, basically. All right, next box again. If I see one that looks obviously looks like the all anime one, I'll mention it. I'm not gonna be able to tell the historic until we literally pull all <laughs> convention stickers. But here's box number two of I don't know how many, twelve maybe, four uh, or nine to twelve somewhere in there because it's three at, three across and then I don't know how many down. It's either three or four down. I can't tell. I opened the bottom. <laughs> So now I really can't tell. <laughs> Alright, first one up. Avengers Mecha Strike Captain America Glow in the Dark. Walmart exclusive, I think. I think they had the... the I, I might be wrong. That might be FYE. It's one of the two. But it's a glow in the dark. Um, I don't know if I'm going to promise the glow pictures for this because I don't know how many they're going to be. If it's only like one or two, I will. But if it's like 30 of them, <laughs> I won't. Uh, from 2021. Let's check it out. Alright, for Glow in the Dark Captain America, there's no distinction for the special edition over the uh, original being a uh, FYE exclusive. Uh, 13 bucks. I'll set that over here in case, see if I can get the Glow in the Darks to go or not. Next one. Oh my! Alan Parrish from Jumanji. Uh, Robert, uh, Robin Williams' character from the original Jumanji. 2019, so we're going on three years there. Him and his a wild man outfit when they first get him out of the game. That's pretty cool, actually. I didn't know there were... There's, again, there's a billion Funkos, but I didn't know that they made Funkos for Jumanji at all. All right, check it out and be right back. All right, we have our first uh, stinker. Seven bucks. Honestly, though, I could expect it going for more if you get a Robin Williams fan or two in the in the room, because that is, that is one of his more iconic roles. Next up. Ooh, this is Gears of War. This is Queen Mira. There's a digital code included. Whether that's still in there, I don't know. But from 2019 again. So again, we're getting th at least a little bit older stuff. We're not getting ancient, but pretty cool. I'll check it out and be right back. All righty, little six dollar. -er. They're not all gonna be crazy. They're not all gonna be winners, but what am I doing? These go over here. Only the glows go there. Next up, we got a Blake Wheeler. I don't know anything about hockey. I don't know if he's a good player. Is, he, is that the Maple Leafs, at least? It looks like he's got the Maple Leaf symbol for his... Or no, that looks like a Jet Fighter. Uh, the Winnipeg Jets. It's on the top. I'm an idiot. 2018, though, so we're going four years old now. I don't know anything about ho hockey, so I'll, I'll be right back. All right, nice little, nice little hit there. 16 bucks. All right, two left. I didn't want any of these in my life. I thought these were weird. I, I, I understand some people really like them. They are weird to me. They really are. But Gingerbread Captain Marvel, f that this came out in 2021. This is the Christmas special last year. I mean, she's got like sugar energy gumdrop blasts. It's just weird to me, guys. I'll check it out and be right back. All right. I, I guess some people really like these. It's 14 bucks. That's a surprise to me. All right, last one in this box. They saved the best for last. It's Rocky from Rocky and Bullwinkle. He's very small. <laughs> from 2018 as well. Wouldn't that be interesting if we ended up with the full set? Because we've got, we've got, we've got, we've got Boris. We need Bullwinkle. 
We need uh, Natasha and we need Fearless Leader. But yeah, Rocky and Rocky from Rocky and Bullwinkle. I'll be right back. Nine bucks for Rocky. We're still we're still ahead on him, but that I, I'm disappointed in you people. <laughs> it's Rocky from Rocky and Bullwinkle. That should be a forty-five dollar pop. Sixty-five on that. Not bad. We're working our way up. We're at like hundred and eighty or hundred and ninety or whatever. All right. Next set of uh. Next set of them. That's why I'm trying to be extra careful, especially now that I know there's no protectors and I don't want to nick a box and give it a nice... Well, so far I'm not seeing anything that indicates all anime, but I'm also not seeing anything that has duplicated yet either, so... Somehow it was easy to get them out from the bottom. Here we go. The Crimes of Grindelwald. We've got the Chupacabra. Fantastic beast. So this is from 2018 again. Four years. He has a terrifying little mouth. I'll check him out and be right back. Alrighty. Well, we're looking at eight bucks for that. He's a cool little creature, though. So, who knows? Next up... We've got Creed Bratton. Oh, he got a little ding on the corner there. But Creed Bratton, the common, not the chase. The chase is worth some money. Uh, 2021, overseas. I'm trying to remember what the original one was. Can't remember. I'll check it out and be right back. All right, not a bad little one. We're looking at 19 for Creed here. Although that ding is, is significant on this guy. But they're not all going to be winners. All right, next up. We've got a very heavy Obesius. That sounds about right. Homer as Obesius. This was a set of Simpsons from 2021. Check it out. And be right back. All right. Obesius here is worth 10 bucks. Not bad. I'm going to see if we can. All right. Let's get this one. Spider-Man Far From Home. This is the Molten Man. Man. Again, oh, this is the glow in the dark one. I don't know if they were all glows or if there were only some that were glow. I'll have to find out. Uh, overseas special edition again. I want to say GameStop, but I don't think I'm correct on that one. We'll check it out and be right back. Alrighty, so this was originally a GameStop exclusive overseas special edition. Get you the same one without the stick that sticker. But 17 bucks for the little glow here. Not bad at all. Going with the glow theme, I guess, we've got the Minions Bride Kevin with the Pulp Culture sticker, Glow in the Dark. And this one glows good. I've seen it glow before. This one's actually a pretty good glow because he's like all greenish and stuff. He picks it up really nice. 2020, I'm not a Minions fan myself, but I will admit that they did some really interesting stuff with them. <laughs> Be right back. Alrighty, well... I guess the minions have cooled off. He's worth nine bucks. <laughs> Where's my glow fans out there? They just want it for the glow. That last but certainly not least, Mega Man. Gaming icon Mega Man. From 2018. This might go in my own collection. I might keep that one. <laughs> I like certain video gaming things like that. He looks good. Alrighty. Be right back. Alrighty. Nice little ten dollar to finish there. Not bad. We're looking at 73 on that one. You open the best box first. <laughs> Alright, now it starts getting a little tough. Alright. Oh, there's like a... What the heck? <laughs> I thought there were... There's a big box down there, I think. Or something. Alright, I'm gonna... Fi we're gonna figure this out. Unless if all these are the... And then the, he separated the other two into a separate container somehow and then just taped it all together. That might be what happened. I opened the bottom again. We've got it. Ballerina Deadpool. Again, overseas special. This might have been a GameStop as well. From 2021. Check it out and be right back. Alrighty. 
So not a bad little first pull. It's originally a Hot Topic exclusive, and he's at $18. There's no differentiation from sticker. Next up, we've got... Newman! Newman! From Seinfeld. This is a 2021 pop as well. Looks good. Check him out. Be right back. All righty. Nobody else liked Newman. Jerry was right. He's worth nine bucks. All right. We got next. Avengers Mech Strike Hulk with the pop culture sticker glow in the dark. Okay. So that's two of that set as well. 2021. He would go really good with that green. I mean, that green is one of those go-to glow colors. It really is. We'll check him out and be right back. All right, again, not a bad little pull. So with the pop culture is replacing actually the Funko Shop exclusive in this case. But there's no change in price. It is $23. Add it to the glow stack. We got some more Seinfeld. We got Kramer in his underwear. Did we really need a pop of this? In all seriousness, Seinfeld fans out there, did you need a pop of Kramer in his underwear? I don't know what stories are originally fun, but we'll fi from but we'll find out from 2021. Be right back. Alrighty, I guess you guys really wanted Kramer in his underwear. I have questions. I don't want the answers. <laughs> uh, we're looking at 34 bucks for this on an originally an Amazon exclusive. Again, no no different pricing for this overseas or not. All right, second to last, we've got another Crimes of Grindelwald. We've got a Matagot. Ooh, this one glows too. Probably the eyes and the teeth, maybe? You know, I don't, I don't see anywhere else that would really have a glow spot for it. He looks cool. There's a lot of cool creatures from those movies. 2018 is again. We'll check it out and be right back. Uh, only nine bucks, but honestly, again, I understand that there's some stuff going on with Johnny Depp and all that with, with, with those films, but this was before that. He was in this film. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It, but, and it's a glow, but whatever. Nine bucks. Last... But certainly not least, we've got Edge from WWE Wrestling from 2021. I actually thought it was going to be older because I don't think he's an active wrestler right now. But we got Edge here. Check him out and be right back. All right, not a bad one to end on. We're looking at 13 bucks. We've got I we've got 106 on that box. Okay, the boxes that go over 100, I'm really happy about. <laughs> Have it the right way. So he did. He definitely. They definitely. They definitely. I shouldn't say he. Although, I think the guy that started pop culture was he. Was was a he. All right. Another six. I'm wondering if he did have these. So that would be six boxes times six would get you. That doesn't get you thirty six. All right. Does that does that? I'm an idiot. Soundwave from the Transformers to go with our Bumblebee. Overseas special edition sticker. Target exclusive, I'm thinking. 2020. Box is in good shape. We'll check it out and be right back. Alrighty, so this was actually a GameStop exclusive originally. Again, there's no differentiation from the sticker. $15 for that pop. Not bad. Alright, moving right along. We've got Tim Allen's The Santa Claus. Santa with lights. Again, didn't realize there was pops of this from 2019. Again, that's also before we really started anything, but hey, you can get signed. Alrighty, for this guy, we're looking at 16 bucks. Not bad. <laughs> there, and he did sign. There's one There's one sign, for, at least one sign by him that they're valuing at 105. So, all right, next up in the row. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, eh, it's Jon Snow at least, but it's Game of Thrones. From 2019, too, so it's not like the really old run, either. And I know a lot of these have cooled off pretty good. But we'll check it out and be right back. Alrighty. Not bad, honestly. 11 bucks, considering it's Season 8 Jon Snow, and... <laughs> there are people who have opinions about that. Alright, next up. Yep, we got another Minions. The Rise of Gru. This is a newer one. This is Rolling Skating... Roller Skating Stewart. Oh, it's actually got the box launch. And he's metallic. I don't know why he's metallic, but he is. 
uh, from 2020, which is just hilarious because that movie's now been delayed for almost two years. <laughs> COVID really screwed some stuff up there. Uh, let's check it out and be right back. Not bad, honestly. We're looking at 20 bucks for Roller Skating Stewart here. Now, I'm not happy with that. And the movie still hasn't come out yet, so who knows? It could it could reignite some interest in that stuff, and now it's two years old. <laughs> you never know. All right, we've got two left. We've got an El Furioso, Marvel Lucha Libre. I know some people like these, but not everybody. They're from 2020. We'll check it out and be right back. All righty, it's worth nine. They can't all be, they can't all be ten dollar plusers. Last but certainly not least, we've got Eve Money Penny, specifically from Skyfall. Again, box looks good, 2019, so going on three years again as well. We'll check it out, and we'll be right back. Alrighty, we're looking at a little ten dollar to finish us off there. Not bad at all, I don't think. We didn't. Have any huge huge pulls, but 81 bucks can't be upset. Again, so we, we're pretty certain that these six boxes, this is the sixth box here, is the 36 pop lot, and we have definitely exceeded its part of the value at this point. You know, even if we count for a hundred dollars of the shipping being from this, we've exceeded its value. You know, hey guys, sorry. Brief jump cut there. So as I was cutting this box, last box open of the 36, camera decided it was going to stop. We're back. Got six pops to go through. Let's go. These are the last six of the 36. So hopefully we get some really cool stuff to end with. All right, we got Vault Dweller Mail from Fallout. I believe I have one of these up for sale right now. It is not a big hit, but it's still a cool one if you're looking for some game and stuff. It's worth eight dollars since I didn't take a cutaway there, but it's worth eight bucks. Not bad. All right, next one up, we've got Luchador Conan. <laughs> why he's a luchador and why he's a bird of some type, I don't know, but he is. Conan Without Border, 2018. We'll check him out and we'll be right back. All righty, we got a little ten dollar guy there for us. Not bad. Next up. We've got James Bond from Moonraker. So he's in the space suit with the silver gun. He looks pretty cool overall. We're looking from a 20 piece. Let's find out what he's worth. All righty. Not bad for, for this, honestly. 15 bucks. I'll take that all day. <laughs> all righty. Next up, we've got Jazz from the Transformers. Yeah, it's a cool one. I like Jazz. Actually, kind of remember. I kind of vaguely remember watching it and thinking, besides like Bumblebee, my favorite one was Jazz. I can't remember why. I have to go watch him again to find out why I liked him. Alrighty, we're looking at eleven bucks here. Not bad. All right. Second to last, we got Kyle Rayner, the White Lantern run. That's cool. Glow in the dark. 2018. Why do I feel like... Hmm. Alright. Check them out and be right back. Alrighty. So this is a bit of a weird one. It's missing a sticker. It's supposed to have a big red Fugitive Toys sticker exclusive on here. And also was like involved with the San Diego Comic Con. Something like that. I don't know why it's not doesn't have a sticker or an overseas something or whatever. It's valued at 23 bucks. I don't know how the sticker is going to impact it. I'm going to go based off of full PPG just because I don't know if that m matters in this case. You know, it usually does, but if you're also looking for a four-year-old pop and you want the White Lantern, you might be willing to pay, you know. So, last one, but certainly not least, we've got... This isn't one of the five from the Transformers. Which one is this? Tracks. Okay. Ooh, 2021 Fall Convention sticker. That's pretty cool. I didn't expect to get, uh, again, a true a true sticker in a way. All right. We'll check it out and be right back. All righty. So, again, another weird sticker thing. So, this might be more on Hobby DB and PPB, PPG, though. So, they are saying that this sticker is worth $47. But they also title it as the ECCC slash NYCC Festival of Fun sticker, which is the Toy Tokyo limited a sticker sticker variant which they only value at 31. 
I have to go off of PPG for this, but if there's a change or a correction at this point, um, because it's actually the one listed on eBay in the 40s. So we're going to go with what the sticker says, even though it seems wrong to me, of $47. So in total, this box worth 115 A pretty cool finishing box. And we'll be right back with the total. Alrighty, so ladies and gentlemen, with all those in there, we're looking at about... 230 in cost it's not the exact exact amount but because we're rough estimating about a hundred dollars for shipping for just these pops it was about a 130 price cost for the box so about 230 that's about where other people have said it was and we're looking at a value of 562 dollars that's a pretty good batch of pops in my opinion we haven't had a box that's double in value in a long time, and to think it's all small is true, but that's that's kind of cool in a way, because we can, we can just do some stuff with it and be happy with what, what we end up with, you know? And the fact that we ended with, like, that, that's a cool one. The fact that we got a $50 Michael Jordan is cool. Like, there's some really cool stuff in here. I honestly do believe that that was definitely worth the money. All right, now we've got... While the camera broke down, we, we got the other two boxes out, so we've got the... Anime, all anime six pack and then the historic convention six pack. So we're going to start with the anime and finish with the conventions because maybe we'll get something really crazy from the conventions. So again, another six pops in here. Probably won't be protected again. They're not, they're not, which is a little sad, but there's all anime. Ooh, unfortunately, somebody got hurt pretty bad here. We got Aang on air scooter, but unfortunately he took he took a little bit of crunchy there. Pretty badly. That's from 2021. Some of that will come out with like a there's ways to like flatten and clean clean it up, but not all of that. That's gonna be that's that's disappointing, unfortunately. But I it, it was a massive box. Alright, we'll check it out and be right back. Alright, so again, we're just going to go base full PPG for this just to help us with the value stuff right now. Um, we're looking at 19 bucks right there for this one. Not bad, but again, that truthfully, the damage would be, needs to be taken in consideration. This one, unfortunately, does have a little bit as well. The Red Eyes Black Dragon, he kind of, it looks like at some point something crunched in right into there. And while the box didn't take too much, they were so tight. Um... Weirdly enough, I don't have this one, and I am starting to collect the Yu-Gi-Oh, so I might take this for myself, just to add it, because I do need to add it to my collection in general. This is from 2021. We'll be right back with the price. Alrighty. Uh, $24. Again, Mint would make that for sure with the damage, but I, I think I will take this for myself, because I actually... We had it. I sold it, because I wasn't thinking I was going to collect the Yu-Gi-Oh, and then I started collecting the Yu-Gi-Oh, so for now, I'll take it for myself, and eventually replace it with a Mint. But not bad. <laughs> All right, next up. We've got Attack on Titan. Ooh, cool. Kenny. Again, also a little bit there. This one's not as bad. This is better. There's still, but there's still a lot of that we can probably fix. From 2021, we got Kenny from Attack on Titan. I unfortunately don't know, know much about the characters in this show, so I'll be right back with a value. Full PPG value of $17. Not bad. Again, condition has to be taken into account there, but we're just going to add up the PPG on this one, you know. Next up, we've got... Ooh, I saw another sticker. See, what's funny is this side is totally fine. This one is... There's not a scratch on it. 2021 Fall Convention, Dodoria. Dodoria. I'm trying to remember how to say it from Dragon Ball Z. One of the early... Uh, Frieza villains, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly. Interesting. Check them out and be right back. All right, not bad. We're looking at 20 bucks there. I'll take it all day. All right, two left. What do we got? We got Super, Super Saiyan Kefla from Dragon Ball Super. This is the Overseas Special Edition sticker. Don't remember what the exclusive for, for this was. So 21. Isn't there a glow-in-the-dark version of this one? I think there's a glow-in-the-dark version of this one. But I might be wrong. We'll check it out and be right back. 
I was wrong. There's no glow in the dark. There's some other character that I'm thinking of that has this the glow. Um, eighteen bucks though. Notice originally GameStop exclusive. No differentiation between the stickers. So, last but certainly not least in our anime one. And while some people consider this an anime, it is not a Japanese production. It is an American production. Ang from Spirit. The Spirit Forum Glow in the Dark Overseas Special Edition. This was an Earth Day box lunch exclusive, I believe, from 2021. We'll check him out and see where he's at. I know he's hot for a minute. We're looking at 20 bucks to finish us off there. Nothing super crazy. I wish there wasn't the damage. That that unfortunately kind of sucks, but it was a risk we took by ordering from Australia, <laughs> you know. But we're looking at $118 on what was basically a what 50 plus chunk of shipping say five plus shipping. So yeah. Say $55 box basically in total cuz it's a $45 box plus a little bit of the shipping. We put most of it on the big, <laughs> you know. All right. But not bad. Last one, certainly not least, we've got historic convention, historical convention exclusives. I believe they had to be a certain below a certain year. Like they weren't going to be the 2021 ones, I think. But I might be wrong. They might just be all. I think there was a chance for you to actually get true con con and not just shared stickers. But I think most of them were going to be shared stickers. I'm trying to remember, we ordered, we put this order in months ago, you know. Alright, I'm going to start with the one that I recognize, just to get it out of the way. Maybe. They're fighting me on this. We have Tokidoki, Tokidoki, with the actual con sticker. Not the shared sticker, that's the actual con, Virtual Fun Con, 2021 Summer, Caramello. I still don't know what Tokidoki is. 2021, we'll check him out, be right back. Not bad, I hope I didn't pull the best one right off the bat, we're looking at 50 bucks. We'll take that all day. All right, next up, one I don't recognize. We've got Mexico. I think I put the one, the one guaranteed sticker, and the rest are going to be shared. But it's a small world Mexico 2021 summer convention, so this is from the same run as Caramello, but it's the shared sticker, not the con, st the con sticker, which was all virtual. Oh. Uh, I forgot that they did it to Small World Figures. I'll be right back with the value on that one. Alrighty, so we're looking at $25 for It's a Small World Mexico. Not bad. I can tell you right there, with just those two pops, we basically got the entire cost of this box taken care of. Next up, we've got... Mickey, Donald, Goofy, the Three Musketeers, Donald Duck. We've got the 2021 Wondrous Convention sticker... I don't know why it has an overseas special edition. Maybe it was a store exclusive within the... It, you know what? That's exactly what it was. I don't remember what store it was, though. So we'll check it out, and we'll be right back. Alrighty, I was wrong about it being a store exclusive, at least according to PPG. That sticker's just added, I'm assuming, because it was through an Australian provider. They're saying 27 bucks. I won't say no. <laughs> Alright, next up, we've got... Incredibles 2, this is Void, which I didn't know they had made a Funko of her. 2019 Spring Convention sticker, from obviously, production date is 20, 2018, but it was 2019 Spring, it didn't come out till the Spring of 2019. She's a pretty interesting character. She looks like she should glow, but she doesn't. I'm sad about that. That, that would have been a good one to have glow. Alright, we'll check it out and be right back. Nobody has love for the Incredibles 2, I guess. Eight bucks. Mm. I mean, we had three 20-plusers. I'm not too upset about pulling one eight, but that is a little surprising. All right. Second to last. They saved the best two for last. I don't think so, but we never know. We've got Huntress. This is a 2019 Fall Convention Limited Edition. He's going, I don't know who this character is from DC Comics. This is a semi-friend and uh, ally of Batman. It's like somebody he found, like in the same way that maybe he finds a Robin and has her do certain dirty work for him and stuff like that. But 2019, check it out and be right back. Alrighty, so we're looking at $26 for this. So this was a shared exclusive that was only through Hot Topic. You can only get this one through Hot Topic, but it doesn't have a Hot Topic exclusive sticker. That's all. But 26 bucks. 
Not bad. I think we're over, well over 100 now on this box. We still got one to go. I, I saved this one deliberately because I like it. It is Imperial Suit Deathstroke. This is 2021 Summer Con. It's not the virtual Funk Con. Oh well, but these are I like these because they're in the they're in the Imperial suits and stuff like that. They're pretty cool to me. So we'll check them out and be right back. Alrighty. So ended week, but I'm also going to state this is like with an asterisk. So according to PPG, this sticker is worth eight bucks, but there isn't a single one that is listed below like nineteen dollars on uh, on eBay. So I put the eight dollars, but with an asterisk, because I'm wondering. I know that there were some updates to PPG and where they were pulling their values from, and I know that people were upset about that because some of the places they're now pulling from have way undervalued things and they don't take care of the ray, the fakes and stuff as well. But we're looking at 144 in total for this. Again, this was a sixty-five dollar box or so by the time we include shipping and all that. So our total cost was $419.29, and we're looking at a total value of $824. Definitely going to keep an eye on pop culture, pop culture in general. If they do some, I know they usually do some really cool boxes in general, but like I was, mu I'm much more interested in doing like another one of the 36er because that was cool. Even though there was, again there wasn't anything super super huge, we did pull a couple fifty dollar ones. It's not like we pulled a hundred dollar girl, but we pulled a couple fifty dollar pieces. We pulled some thirty forty dollar pieces, and we basically well over doubled our money on these. I will not say no to that any day of the week. So let me know what your favorite is. There's too many here for me to count. I will try to get the glows up because I think I only have seven in total to do. Um, so you'll probably hopefully see the pictures come up when I do this, but. Yeah, let me know what your favorite was out of all of this, because there's a lot to choose from. Maybe just let me know what your favorite category of Funko we hit here. You know, the wrestlers were cool, or the television stuff, or whatever. But make sure you're checking the links down below for Instagram, or whatnot stuff, our Shopify page, all that good stuff's down there. Make sure you're hitting the like, the, the subscribe button, the notification bell, so you can get notified about all this good stuff. Make sure you're commenting down below and talking to me. I do my best to, at the very least, like and, and heart everybody's comments. If you, you do ask an interesting question, I will, I will answer. Um, but regardless, good luck hunting out there. We'll see you all next time.